Hello everybody, what is up Prof Toast here and today we got ourselves another figure unboxing. This time we got two figures from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. We got both Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Now these are two newer character androids that are actually introduced into the movie. And honestly, right off the bat, I kind of dug them because they had just like the off the wall, uh, was it attack, you know, words behind them and everything. And honestly, they were actually pretty cool. And kind of had like Sentai poses and everything to them. So just happened to get these for Christmas and I'm definitely really excited. So let's go ahead, take a look around the box of these and unbox both of these guys. All right, so here we are with the two boxes right here. First, we got Gamma 1. They said definitely, yeah, this is a standard pose. It would have been cool if they had a more of like the, let's see, basically kind of like how they are in here. Basically, those would have been some cool poses for these figures, but who knows, maybe later on they will release figures that, you know, have a different pose. But all in all, it's definitely cool because as soon as I saw these guys, like, yeah, on top of Beast Gohan, I definitely wanted one of these figures in my collection. So it's pretty cool. As you can see, I still got a little bit of the wrapping paper on there. But yeah, we got the little movie poster on the side, letting you know, hey, these guys are from the movie. Then right here, we got basically what both of them look like. And then we got kind of a black and white close-up of them right there. And of course, the top's just, you know, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And for Gamma 2, it's kind of pretty much the same thing. You see him on the front, close-up, movie poster, and then the title right there. So, let's go ahead. We'll unbox these. We'll start with Gamma 1. Check them out now. They do have two different variations of this. These ones are a little bit more cost effective. These they're usually run between maybe $25, probably about $25, $26, but they got other ones that are have like more high grade plastic that run for about, you know, $50 to $60. Those ones are a little bit more expensive, but honestly, these ones are pretty much the same stance. I think the other ones might have a slightly different stance or they're carrying a gun instead. But all in all, these are still just as good looking and stuff. So let's go ahead, box this, and I believe, yes, they put tape on the sides because they want to be sure that these boxes do not get tampered with. Let's go ahead, open the top. So as you see, they all come out just like that, and that's basically just all inside the box right there. Go ahead and close that up. Set that to the side. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Let's take a look at the stand. Of course, the stand says Dragon Ball Super Superhero on it. Put that to the side. We'll get our figure right here. You notice they kind of put this bubble wrap up here just to kind of protect this head a little bit since they do have that little fin. Now the task is getting this off of him. So there we go. Not too bad. Then they just kind of fit onto the plastic base just like this. If I can get it correctly. There we go. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. Let's get a close up. So yeah, I could probably, there we go. I could probably later on post some pictures of what the other higher grade, but from what I've seen, the main difference was just like, they had them holding one of the guns and also the material that they use on the head had a more shiny gleam. But honestly, this one's look pretty good. It's, you can tell this fin's a little bit bent, but I've seen this in other unboxings. Uh, eventually they kind of bend back, but all in all, definitely really cool. So we got him in his uniform. Now with the boots, gun in a holster. You got his cape around him. Like I said, these guys are funny in the movie because they special they had the special effects like kaboom and pow. But Piccolo is tripping out because he was seeing them and they actually have holograms built into the androids that basically do all those effects, which I thought were actually really hilarious. So yeah, there's our Gamma 1. Let me go ahead and zoom that out real quick. Put this box to the side and move that. Now I'll go ahead and get Gamma 2. But you know he's Gamma 2 because he has two fins and he has only one fin. But yeah, anyways, so let's go ahead. And also, you know, the giant one and two on the front of their chest will also, you know, differentiates. So I'll go ahead and 
open it up, and I'm assuming it'll be similar fashion, like that. Pull out the bag, nothing else inside of the box. So, I'll go ahead take this, whoa, take this one off real quick. And yeah, same kind of stand, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I'll get this guy out of the bag. So his head's kind of covered in a similar fashion. Of course, his might be a little harder just because he does have the two fins. There we go. Got that taken off. Like I said, yeah, you can see his fins got a little... I think they tried to use the paper to sort of keep that from happening, but it ends up happening anyway. So it's hopefully it's something that, you know, just sort of corrects itself. Or it's something like I could probably just have keep bent for a while and... Eventually it'll fix itself, but yeah, this one's pretty nice. And like I said, these they're both kind of, if you notice, they're both kind of staring off to each other. So you can honestly have them like next to each other and they'll both be kind of staring at each other going like, should we finish this guy off or what? But all in all, pretty cool. Like I said, they both sit off here. So, so definitely pretty awesome. Like I said, this is hopefully something I can eventually correct and just you know get it to sort of bend back but normally it's supposed to be, just be kind of straight like that but all in all definitely really cool i'm happy to actually have both of these and these ones are actually you might have to search around for a bit but sometimes you can find these two for 50 which is actually a pretty good deal because essentially about 25 which is about the standard asking price could be 26 at some places i've seen others charge a little higher and go 30 but yeah all in all not too bad like i said if you guys like I can also post a link on the, in the description if you guys want to try to check these guys out because pretty easily findable on Amazon but yeah definitely pretty happy with these and like I said I do hope in the future they do release more of the, these two with you know striking their poses and everything all right so that is about it for this unboxing like I said cool to have these guys and I'm definitely looking forward to because I think they are eventually going to release uh, Gohan's beast form which looks pretty sick. I've seen a couple of figures floating around online that I think release next year. Or technically this year, depending on when this video comes out. But yeah. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like this, maybe slap a like on this video. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Because like I said, we definitely have a pretty good variety of stuff on this channel. We do everything from Let's Plays, unboxings such as this. We'll do reviews on some uh, tech items. We build Gundam models, Kamen Rider models, and all that. So, got a nice little variety on this channel, so that's something you're interested in? I don't know, maybe subscribe. But all in all, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.